everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Autumn Skies Throw, uh, which the picture of you can see here, as well as you can see a little bit of it right here as well. This is um, the prototype that I made. It is a blanket that is worked in a round from the center out. And the fun thing about working from the center out is that you can make this blanket as uh, small or as big as you would like. You can either uh, subtract rows or just keep adding as you go. Now it is worked um, with a variety of repeats that create these waves of texture. So you have these layers of moss stitches worked in between these layers of front post and back post crochet stitches. At the very end of the throw, I found I did not need any kind of edging. I just left as is with the moss stitch. And uh, then I added four tassels to each, uh, to the corners. So one tassel to each corner of my blanket. And uh, that's how I finished it off. So this is what it looks like here. Uh, feel free to head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And there you will see some more pictures of this blanket. I find it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, the yarn I use is the Mandela Ombre by Lion Brand Yarn and it is super soft and squishy. It's a 100% acrylic yarn and uh, it's a number four medium worsted weight yarn. Okay, so that's the yarn I've used today. I have used nine of these cakes, well about eight and a half, and then there was a little bit left over of the ninth one. And uh, you'll also need for this project a six millimeter crochet hook. And then of course a yarn needle for weaving in your ends and a pair of scissors to fasten off. So uh, now that we have our materials, you can find the written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, uh, which the direct link is provided in the notes for this video. And uh, once we have all of our materials together, we will get started and learn how to crochet the Autumn Skies Throw. So thank you so much for joining me today for this tutorial. While you're here, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, you can check out some other videos there. I have some other beautiful blanket patterns uh, as well as stitch tutorials which are released weekly here on my channel at Rich Extras Crochet. So for our pattern today, for this blanket, it is worked in a round. Your final product, if you work as the pattern uh, I've written, is about 48 by 48 inches. But again, you can make that blanket as small or as large. That's the beauty of working in a round from the center out. So to start your blanket, you're going to either start by making a magic ring and working into that magic ring, or by chaining four and joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. I'm going to start today by making a magic ring and then working into the center of that ring. So for round one of your blanket, you're going to start by chaining one and then into your ring, you're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. You're going to repeat that twice more. Chain one, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. You're then going to chain one more, pull your magic ring tighter if you're working with a magic ring, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch to that first stitch. So when you look at your work, you will have four chain two spaces and four chain one spaces. 
your chain two spaces are going to form your corner stitches or your corners of your blanket. So once you've joined in the first stitch with a slip stitch, you're then going to slip stitch into the center of that chain two space. You're now ready to start round two. For round two, you're going to chain one, single crochet into the chain two space, chain two, and single crochet again into that chain two space. Chain one. Now find your chain one space there in the middle. So, and then skip that first single crochet stitch and single crochet into that chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet stitch and into the chain two corner, work a single crochet chain two and single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and chain one, a uh, single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and into your chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two and single crochet. Repeat that again for your third side into your corner work your single crochet chain two and single crochet then chain one single crochet into the next chain one space chain one and when you return to your first single crochet stitch you will simply join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and that's the end of your round two For round three, you're going to slip stitch into that chain two space, chain one, into your chain two corner, work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. You're then going to repeat the moss stitch across, which is the, uh, sort of the pattern that we were just working there. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, you'll be at your corner and into your corner you're going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Repeat that all the way around your square. As you are working these rounds, you will find that your stitches are increasing by multiples of four. And each time you go around, you're going to be adding a chain one and single crochet into the chain one space on each side. Your corners are always worked the same. And that brings you or brings me to the end of round three. Now for rounds four through to 10, you're simply going to repeat that. So you're going to want a total of 10 of these rounds of moss stitch. So you'll work it the exact same way as the previous rounds. Each round you're increasing by four stitches. So once you slip stitch in your, into your chain two, you're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, skip the next single crochet and uh, single crochet in the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across to your chain two space. And in your chain two space, work a single crochet, chain two and single crochet. Repeat all the way around. You're going to do that for a total of 10 rounds and uh, then meet me back here and we will move on to the next wave of texture.
At the end of round 10, you've joined with the slip stitch in your first stitch, and then you slip stitch into your chain two. Now for round 11, we're going to start working those rounds of post stitches. So you're going to start this round by chaining five. Your chain five at the beginning of your round always counts as a double crochet and a chain two. You're now going to complete your corner by working a double crochet into that same chain two space. Next, you're going to double crochet into each stitch and each chain stitch or chain space all the way across. When you come to your corner chain two space, into that corner you're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Along the next side, work one double crochet stitch in each stitch and chain space all the way across. And then again, when you come to your corner, work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way around your square and then join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your cha beginning chain five. I'm now working my final double crochet stitch in that round and I've returned to my chain three so I'm simply going to join with a slip stitch into the third chain of that chain five. I will then slip stitch into the chain two space. Next you're going to chain five which counts as your double crochet and your chain two and then double crochet into that chain two space. We're now going to start our front and back post stitches. Around that first double crochet stitch, you will work one front post double crochet. To work a front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, and around the post of the next stitch, inserting your hook from the front through to the back, around the back and then out through the opposite side, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet stitch. In the next stitch you're going to work a back post double crochet stitch. To work your back post you're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the back of your work Insert your hook through to the front, across the front of the post, out through the back, yarn over, draw up a loop by bringing it around that post, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two more. That's your back post double crochet stitch. You're going to then work back post double crochet or front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet all the way across that first side. So yarn over front post double crochet and over around the next stitch followed by a back post double crochet around the next stitch. Repeat all the way across. When you come to your corner chain two space, you're going to into that chain two space, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat the same as you did for the other side of your block. You're going to repeat that again. So beginning with a front post double crochet stitch in the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet in the next. 
Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your next corner, work your double crochet, chain two and double crochet, and then continue on the other sides. Repeat that all the way around your block, and when you come to that starting chain five, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that third chain. This is my final front post double crochet. I've come back to my chain five and I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of that chain five. And I'm now ready to begin round 13. For round 13, I'm going to slip stitch into that chain two space. I'm going to chain five and double crochet into the same chain two. I'm then going to begin this round by working uh, opposite as I did because what I essentially I'm going to be doing is always working front post double crochet stitches into the front posts and back post double crochet stitches into my back post double crochets. So I'm always going to be working the same stitch uh, into the one uh, that was down below. So for this round 13, I'm going to start off by working a back post double crochet stitch. And that sets me up to in my next front post double crochet to work a front post double crochet stitch around the front post below. I'm then going to repeat back post double crochet stitch and front post double crochet. I'm going to do that all the way across to my chain two and then you'll remember to work a double crochet, chain two and double crochet stitch all into that chain two corner space. Then I'm going to repeat um, the post stitches again beginning with my back post double crochet stitch all the way across and then repeat uh, the corner stitches. So continue to work that all the way around when you come back to your chain five at the beginning you're going to join with a slip stitch into that chain three and then slip stitch back into your chain two. I'm now working my final stitch in my round 13 and I'm joining with a slip stitch into the third chain of that chain five. And then I'm going to slip stitch into my chain two space. I'm now ready to begin round 14. Now for rounds 14 through to 16, for the next three rounds, you are going to repeat rounds 12 and 13 and then 12 once more. So for the next three rounds, you're going to repeat rounds 12 and 13, and then 12 once more. And that will bring you to the end of this uh, section of the textured post stitches. Continue on and uh, once you have uh, completed round 16, meet me back here and we will go over the next section of moss stitches. I am here at the end of my round 16. I'm joining with a slip stitch into that third chain and then slip stitch into your chain two. So this is my work thus far. I have my center uh, moss stitch pattern followed by this section of textured front and back post stitches. I'm now going to start the next section of moss stitches which is worked very much in the same way as the center piece was. So for round 17 I'm going to chain one and into that chain two space I'm going to work my single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. I'm then going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet in the next. Chain one, 
skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. I'm going to repeat that all the way across. When I come to my corner stitch, I'm going to work a single crochet followed by a chain two and a single crochet in that corner chain two space. And then I'm going to continue to repeat the moss stitch pattern, my single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet all the way across. So I'm going to continue to do that all the way around this round. When I return to my first stitch, I will simply join with a slip stitch in that first stitch and then slip stitch into the chain two space. At my corner stitch, now on that first side, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. So uh, go ahead and work your round 17 and uh, meet me back here when you're finished. Now at uh, the end of round 17, you're going to slip stitch into your chain two space. For round 18 through to 24, so for the next six rounds, you're going to repeat your moss stitch round. So chain one, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into that chain two space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into the chain one space. Repeat that all the way across to your corner stitch. In your corner stitch, work a single crochet, chain two, and then a single crochet, and then continue on around your block. So for you will have, at uh, the end of this section, you will have a total of seven rounds of moss stitch. And uh, when you come uh, to the end, you'll join with a slip stitch and get ready for your next section of post stitches. I am now here at the end of round 24 joining with a slip stitch in my first stitch and then slip stitch into the chain two space. And this is what my work looks like so far. I have my center square of moss stitch, my post stitches, and now my seven rounds of moss stitch here. Now for the rest of this blanket, I am simply going to repeat those rounds 11 through to 24. So the rounds uh, including these post stitches and this moss stitch here, I'm going to repeat that five times or until the desired size of my blanket is reached. At the end of those repeats, my blanket will measure approximately 48 by 48 inches. And then if you desire, you can uh, make some tassels with the leftover yarn and affix them to each of the four corners of your blanket. And that's all there is to working this Autumn Skies throw. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, feel free to connect with me on Facebook, the Facebook Rich Textures Crochet Community Group. There you can share your photos and of course across Instagram with me. I'd love to see uh, photos of your completed work. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.